Which Tesla model has the lowest cost per mile of range, and how does this compare to other electric vehicles on the market? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to CleanerWatt. One of the calculations I like to use when comparing one electric vehicle with another to determine what kind of value I'm getting is the cost per mile of range. This number is easily calculated when you divide the cost of the vehicle by the range of the vehicle. Now, obviously this is not the most important factor when you are ready to purchase a vehicle, but I do think it is an important way to see how much value you are getting out of your electric car. This calculation does not account for premium features, technology, performance, and design differences but it does help compare cars at a basic level. So first of all, I'd like to look at the current Tesla models that you can buy in this year or will be able to buy very soon in 2020. First of all, we have the Model S, which is available in two variants, the long range all wheel drive model, which comes out at $79,990 at its base price and gives you 373 miles of range. Then you also have the performance all wheel drive model, which is $99,990 and gives you 348 miles of range. When you do the calculation, obviously the long range model gives you the lowest cost per mile of range at $214.45. When I did the calculation for the Model 3, I was actually a little bit surprised that the long range all wheel drive model coming in at $48,990 with 322 miles of range was actually the best value in the lineup at $152.14 it is the least expensive per mile of range of the three variants currently available for the Model 3. Now obviously if you're really looking for a performance car, the Performance Model 3 is still an insanely good bargain, especially when you compare its specs to any other car, gas or electric, and you compare the price to what you get for that vehicle. But if you're looking for the maximum range you can get for your dollar, the long range model is the best choice. When taking a look at the Model X, it also comes in two variants, just like the Model S does. It comes in the long range all wheel drive model or the performance all wheel drive model. And the long range model coming in at $84,990 with 328 miles of range gives you a cost per mile of range of $259.12. The last 2020 model that we'll mention and then we'll get into some of the future Tesla vehicles is the Tesla Model Y. Of course, this vehicle is not yet available, but should be available in the next few months and definitely by the second half of 2020. You'll notice from these calculations that the long range rear wheel drive unit will actually be the best value at just $160 per mile of range. It comes in at $48,000 and gives you 300 miles of range, and it's possible that these range numbers could actually be greater than what Tesla is mentioning on their website right now because the platform that the Model Y is built on, the Model 3, has seen some improvements in range over the last few months. You can currently reserve a long-range rear-wheel drive unit, a long-range all-wheel drive or performance Model Y, and sometime next year in 2021, you should be able to get a standard range unit coming in at just $39,000. But when you compare the vehicles with this cost per mile of range, in my opinion, if you can afford it, it makes much more sense to get the rear wheel drive long range model because it has the best value for this vehicle. Now let's take a look at Tesla's future vehicles that are coming out in the next few years. The new Cybertruck, which was unveiled late in 2019, should be available in a couple years. And of course, when the price and specs were revealed, it was amazing that they could pack so many features and specs into such a low price. Interestingly enough, the most expensive Cybertruck coming in at $69,990, the tri-motor variant with 500 miles of range, has the lowest cost per mile of range of any Tesla that will be available. It comes in at just $139.98 per mile of range. Of course, the single motor and the dual motor are also good values when you compare the other features of the truck, but just breaking it down to its basic level, this is a very impressive value for sure. Then, of course, we should see the Tesla Roadster come out next year in 2021, and it has a base price of $200,000, 620 plus miles of range, which gives you somewhere around $322.58 of cost per mile of range. So here's how the Tesla models rank from lowest cost per mile of range to the highest cost per mile of range. Of course, you'll see the winner there is a Cybertruck tri-motor. Second place is the Model 3 long range all wheel drive unit. And then you have the Model 3 standard range plus and then the Cybertruck 
base model coming in in those first four top spots. The Model Y long range rear wheel drive model is basically tied with the standard range plus and the Cybertruck base. The two most expensive for cost per mile of range will be the Tesla Roadster at $322.58 and the Model X Performance, which is at $344.23 per mile of range. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I wanted to do a short comparison of how these numbers compare with some of the other vehicles on the market. So I've compiled this list of some of the most popular electric vehicles on the market right now, and I ranked them by lowest cost per mile of range to the highest cost per mile of range. And of course you see that the Chevrolet Bolt LT, the base model there, has the best cost per mile of range at $141.39. The Hyundai Kona EV and a Kia Niro EV also have a really good value at $147.62 for the Hyundai and $165.77 for the e Niro. The most expensive cost per mile of range by a huge long shot is of course the Porsche Taycan Turbo S which comes in at $963.54 per mile of range. Here's a top 10 list for the lowest cost per mile of range for all the vehicles mentioned in this video, both Tesla and non-Tesla. So the vehicle that has the lowest cost per mile of range is of course the Cybertruck Tri-Motor at just $139.98 per mile of range. The Chevrolet Bolt comes in at a close second, the Hyundai Kona third, and then the Model 3 Long Range and the Model 3 Standard Range come in there at fourth and fifth. You'll notice on this top 10 list that the Cybertruck, all three variants come in somewhere in this top 10 list. The five most expensive vehicles in this list per mile of range are the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, of course we mentioned there, the Audi e-tron Base, and the Model X Performance, the Tesla Roadster, and the Jaguar I-Pace. So in conclusion, the Cybertruck Tri-Motor variant will be the best value Tesla has ever put out, and any one of the three variants will also be a good value. When it comes to the best value for the current Tesla models, that award goes to the Model 3 Long Range All-Wheel Drive. The Model Y Long Range Rear-Wheel Drive unit will also be a really good value at just $160 per mile of range especially when you compare this to the Model X, which has a cost per mile of range at $259. The Chevrolet Bolt, which is not talked about a lot, is really quite a good value, although it may lack in design and some of the technology. Per mile of range, it is a pretty good value. Of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this score does not mention technology, style, performance, and other things, which of course Tesla excels at. And when you take the technology that Tesla has, their software, their batteries, their drivetrains, the supercharging network, and you actually factor all these things into the list, of course, Tesla becomes a super amazing good value compared to some of these other brands. You have to put some kind of dollar amount on the convenience of a supercharging network, of course, the free software upgrades, your car improving over the years, and of course the fun, performance, and design of the vehicle. In my opinion, if you give these kind of factors some kind of dollar value, the Tesla models come out ahead on every level. There's a reason why Tesla currently sells substantially more electric vehicles than any other brand. It's because they have the best tech, the best batteries, the best drivetrains, and of course, in my opinion, the best looking electric vehicles on the market. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find the video as well. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new content is put up. Thank you so much.